is Miranda and today I'm here to react to episode 17 of season 2 of Nancy Drew. This is the second to last episode before the finale and I'm gonna be honest, I said it last episode, I don't really love all the Everett stuff so like based on the preview how she like abducts Everett and like basically wants him to confess, I'm not super intrigued by that. What I am intrigued about though is learning more about Nancy and what exactly is going on with her picture and why she looks like a ghost has attached itself to her. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I guess he didn't kill her. <laughs> I don't, he's a lot of things, but he doesn't usually lie about like not knowing things. Like he'll tell you straight up. I also think another reason I don't like Everett is I feel like his actor's boring. <laughs> like no offense to the actor, I just think he's not someone, I don't know, like super charismatic, you know? It's just like he just says things and I'm like, okay. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite duo. I love when Bess and the, her dad work together. I think it's so funny. She's like his unofficial like daughter, basically. Look <laughs> at he's like took a selfie to check it. So he's so cute. I love him. He's such a cute dad. What? I mean, I don't like them either. But like, could his manipulation be less obvious? Like that's the thing. I'm like, don't make it seem so obvious with how he lies and manipulates things. You know, like make it like so you're like, oh, I see why he's like such a good business person, or I see like why people fear him or like make deals with him like it just comes out too obvious like they're spoon feeding us this is a bad guy wait so no one's noticed this before or do you only see it like if you print pictures of us like on the cell phone it didn't come up like that I would think that maybe because it's a ghost and like it's old-fashioned it's only on like printed things but it would just be weird to me if like everyone's been taking pictures of it or no one has noticed since until Carson that there's something weird going on Oh, is Gil stupid? Like, he really believed him that he would give him the money? He's gonna kill your dad the first chance he gets. Who's that? Oh, it's Ryan! Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're not his favorite person ever, especially right now. Finally, someone just beats this dude up. <laughs> Been waiting two seasons for it. I'm telling you, I like to see, like, like, obviously she's Nancy, like, she's gonna be amazing. But I also like seeing Ryan be able to do kind of, like, detective stuff and put it together. It's really cute. Right, because he didn't kill her. I feel like all the tension from this is gone after them revealing that, like, he, he said, I didn't kill her. And I was like, okay, he didn't. Like, he would say it differently, like, not act so surprised and unsure of what happened. So I feel like that kind of takes all the tension out of this episode because like I know now he didn't but at the same time like you wouldn't you can't have him pretend to when he obviously didn't so I feel like they kind of wrote themselves into a corner which is why I'm not enjoying this as much but you know. That is such a weirdly spe specific thing you have to put in your prenup that that's um pretty sad. Oh the list she stole or can you say stealing if the guys restole? Ooh, I mean, I'm. That's the reason that they were like, oh, this big secret society. Like, we knew they were gonna retaliate in some way. Did she know it was the road back, though? I don't remember. Or if Nancy was just like, hey, I need you to get this thing for me. I love how it's like this secret society that no one's supposed to know about, yet they have a marker that they leave. Like, pick a lane, guys. You either get to leave calling cards or you get to live in secrecy. You don't do both. Damn. Does that mean someone in Horseshoe Bay is part of the road back? Because I know they said they have people everywhere. Like, obviously they could have hired someone from somewhere else, but it would just, I think, be more dramatic if there was someone that we knew, like Tamora or something, who was part of it. Do they know it's Nancy, though? Because I feel like they would have killed Nancy if they knew it was Nancy that wanted the list. What did they do with the list, anyway? I don't remember. Did they lock it up? Oh, I'm glad he's not mad at her. I kind of thought maybe he would be mad or something. <laughs> Ryan has really turned a new corner, guys. It's hard for me to like him because of all the stuff that happened with George, but I mean, this season he's really stepped up to the plate. Yeah, exactly. She seems to be like, what? 
Brian is on point these last few episodes. Like, ever since I think the episode... I liked him all season. But ever since the episode in the police station a couple back, I've just really seen, like, a different side to him where he seems, like, more like... Like a father. It's kind of awesome. I love Nick. Nick is another one that has, like, I just blossomed this season. <laughs> that is the Tom Swift rubbing off on him, and I love it. Hey, y'all, King. Yeah, so screw you, Jake. And screw your cafe with its probably overpriced lattes. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. Just checkmate, buddy. <laughs> I don't like Tamora, like, at all. But he does stuff like that sometimes that I'm like, okay, that's a good chuckle. And then other times he... Touches a door that someone just warned you is electrified because he doesn't believe it. And then you're like, yeah, that's my dingus. Okay, that was definitely planned. The fight was like, one, the fight between her and Ryan was so like, whatever. And two, the way she like ran in and like hugged him, like she was definitely doing something when she hugged Gil like that. They're never that affectionate. Oh my gosh. So it is like that thing with um, Nick, but just on like a different level. <gasps> No. How does every season end like this? The Iglaika, they only had a few days, now she's got this. Oh, gosh. George, too, is like, that's not happening. No, I love it. <laughs> Poor frickin' Nick. He thought he had it. He thought he, like, just had an ace of a day, you know? He's riding this high. And then she calls and he's like, I can't wait to share my day. And she's like, so Nancy's about to die. We need your help. Like, <laughs> poor dude. It's the, it's the scene when uh, they, they had the dead body in her kitchen all over again. And he was the only one that was like, can we like rethink this for five seconds? I forgot he made those ghost goggles too. That's really cool actually. Busted. I knew it was a trap. <laughs> Clearly it's Everett. Like why is this man narrating this whole tape for us? He's like, that's my uncle. That's my dad. Is the woods behind my house? It was a brisk, balmy October night. Yeah, so is the tape haunted? I don't get that. Or is it just like someone just kept sending it to him, but then like when you keep sending it, when he like hit it? <laughs> Wouldn't Ryan have just been born though? Because he was 18. Oh, he'd be like five, I guess. He was 18, right? In 19. Yeah, he'd be like two. <laughs> All right, well, that's on you for believing that, my man. I'm so sorry to break it to you, but. He said to Dan. Aww. That's all he wanted. Remember when he went to Carson and was like, how do I get her to hang out with me? He's so happy, but he's like, don't push it. Like, don't go too excited and scare her away. Oh, I like Ryan. Like, I hate what they did with him with George last season, but, like, now I like him. Who is it? Is it going to be one of the Icarus people? Oh, no, not weeks. That was, like, a week ago then. Who is it? Oh, my gosh, it looks like, um, Phasmophobia. Oh, the Wraith from the first episode? It can do that? Oh, that's so creepy. You're just like... Oh, that's true. She told Ace that, too. She was like, I don't even know, like, what to do anymore. Oh, uh, excuse me. I guess the Wraith went to Harvard. Oh, my gosh. It's been there the whole time. So it just feeds on her sadness or her despair or something, and that makes her more despair? That is so creepy. How did it attach itself to her, though? I thought it just killed the thing. <laughs> Everyone just looks at her doesn't say anything. They're like... 
Oh, gee, Louise, it's so stressful. I can't believe it's the thing from the woods. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, how did it evolve from being, like, a thing? Because if you weren't afraid of it, it couldn't come after you, remember? So how did it evolve from this thing that now can, like, not only feed on her despair, but then make her feel more despaired? Or I guess it doesn't make her feel more despaired. Well, it kind of does, because it was, like, pushing the stuff away that would, like, take a step to her future. But I guess it just, like... Like, she's getting more despair herself because, like, the wraith is feeding off the despair. And then it's, like, this whole, like, cyclical si si event or whatever. Cyclical event. And it's just going to be a really interesting last episode. I'm way more interested in this stuff than the ever stuff, like I said, in the way back or whatever stuff. I just think that's, like, too, like, just, like, spy novel-esque. And I'm more here for the ghost stuff. So I'm interested to see next episode, the finale. That's going to be really awesome. Especially with, did you see the what looked like an ace and nancy kiss i'm sure it's like a hallucination or something but you know i'll take what i can get at this point so if you have seen this episode please feel free to leave your thoughts about that in the comments also make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time bye